and welcome back to the another episode of the Hatch Channel. My name is Peggy. And my name is Andy. So Andy, do you know Penang has the Malaysia first vanilla farm? I don't know, but today I don't know about it. <laughs> so me today, you know, today me and Peggy, in fact, this is like our first episode together. So we're over at this place called the Kairos Agriculture, which was launched back in 2020. And it is Malaysia's first smart vanilla farm. The reason why it's called a smart vanilla farm is because it uses a lot of these uh, agri-tech, which is agriculture technology, such as like big data, IoT, uh, 4.0, AI, around the farm to actually help to monitor the growth and also the development of the vanilla plants over here. As you can see right here behind us, there are actually quite a few of these uh, vanilla uh, trees or plants, uh, which uh, they use to actually cultivate these uh, vanilla. So, we can't believe actually Pindang can have our own vanilla farm and it is a smart farm. And vanilla farm and also open up their own vanilla cafe with the vanilla team. You can have a taste of vanilla while enjoying the view at the farm. So yes, uh, I didn't mention just now. So this Kairos Agriculture is actually located at the Permatang Tahu Agro Park, uh, which is somewhere in Penanti, which is also somewhere in the central part of uh, Sebrang Pride. So you can just easily go to Google and look for Kairos Agriculture, K-A-I-R-O-S Agriculture. So later on, we'll be taking you on a quick tour around the farm and then we'll be also sampling some of the uh, products that they have over at the uh, Vanilla Cafe, right? So do stay with us until the end of today's video to find out what do we have for you in today's content. Nuru, can, sh can you share with us uh, how does this works for the I mean, whole plantation process for the vanilla? Uh, okay, can. Uh, actually, this is our uh, animal employee here in our farm. Yeah, so we got two types here, which is African Nightcrawler and also uh, Australian Red Worm. This worm actually work for the to produce the compost. So what, what we do here is we feed the worm with the uh, waste fruits and also waste veggie and also we use the mushroom logs to feed and then they will produce a good uh, compost that we will use in a vanilla, um, vanilla tree. We are located at a green farm and we have Nuru with us and Nuru can you share with us a little bit regarding how the farm works and how the technology actually supporting the whole management of the farm. Okay so uh, if you're familiar and you already see the traditional way of vanilla planting we use a plant to grow a, a vanilla but here in Kairos we use a smart uh, system where uh, we control the water and also we partnership with a uh, few university like the Xiamen University and also University of Science Malaysia that uh, we use a music to uh, help and regulate the, the plant mood to grow healthy and uh, also we use few sensor to to test the soil level so um, I will show you how the watering system that we have here so are you ready yes yeah, so. One, two, two, three, let's see.
So that was the brief tour of uh, the Cargrass Agriculture Vanilla Farm, the first smart vanilla farm in Malaysia that we have managed to show you. But I think what we went through is just a really, really very small portion of the entire place because the entire place is like six acres in total. And it's, uh, it is a rather complete um, experiential center because you will be going through the farm tour and after that, they also have this uh, vanilla cafe over here for you to try some of the products that they made with the outputs from the farm itself. So from what I managed to gather, you know, throughout the farm tour just now, um, they actually, they are, they are quite similar to a very self-sustainable farm because everything from the start to the end is all being used. There's no wastage because even the water being used for a plant is being harvested to be used for the pond and then the compost is also being grown by themselves on the farm itself. So I think it's a very complete um, self-sustainable farm. Then uh, over here, we have some interesting food that uh, Peggy, you would like to tell us about a bit. Yes, actually, uh, based on the uh, Andy explanation, actually the farm is using all those high technologies yeah. and they actually produce a very really high quality of crops, especially the vanilla, and they even export the vanilla to Japan and Singapore. So now we have ordered some dishes and all the ingredients is made by vanilla. We have vanilla coffee, we have the Brazilian spinach, it's also right from the farm, and we have vanilla ice cream. Yes. And there's one thing that I specifically want to highlight is this thing, called the premium vanilla latte. So it's not just any kind of vanilla latte that you usually see in any of the cafe because um, as you can see over here, there are a few components that they have lined up for us. So there's actually a process to the entire experience of enjoying this vanilla latte. So what you need to do first thing is, uh, you know, get this cup uh, where you have some of these vanilla beans extract. So give it a good whiff. Enjoy it with no sores. Uh, you can also whiff through these vanilla pots, but uh, the first thing that you should do is take this spoon and then give it this. So good. I know, right? Because um, we have never really enjoyed uh, vanilla in its pure form because most of the time you get to enjoy vanilla in its processed form. Yeah, so this is a very interesting experience. So, what you need to do after this is give this, put this thing into the vanilla latte itself and then give it a good stir. We're gonna do that later on. After you get it good and then you just gotta wait for a while and then you know you can always just give this another whiff because this is the pot where they extracted vanilla that you saw just now and then if you like something stronger because um, the vanilla latte was made with a single shot of espresso so if you like something stronger for your coffee you can always add another shot in there and then give it a good stir and then you can enjoy this very complete premium vanilla latte which is only available over here in the vanilla cafe at Kairos Agriculture. In the front over here, we also have something very special. This is one of their signature dishes, which is the fried bean curd with Brazilian spinach and then drizzled very generously with uh, rojak sauce. After this, you just give it a good mix and then you'll be able to enjoy, uh, you know, a combination of sweet, savory, you know, so I think very nice for us to end this uh, uh, experience that we have over here today. Let so uh, let's enjoy and then we'll see you over in the closing. So that concludes our meal over at the Vanilla Cafe. So if you want to know more about Kairos uh, agriculture in general, you can actually come over here. Uh, this is the uh, Hall of Fame or information, uh, you know, what way that you can, you know, find out about the historical or the heritage of Kairos agriculture. So essentially, I think it is a very affordable concept of a farm to table where you can actually enjoy the produce from the farm uh, on the, you know, the food that you can find over at the Vanilla Cafe. So if you want to escape from the city, you can bring your kids, your family, come here to have a tour for the farm. And then you can actually know more about how the vanilla grows and then how they manage, use the smart technology to manage the farm. And also you can have a chill time at the vanilla cafe to taste the fresh vanilla right from the farm. And we want to special thanks to the Kairos team, bringing us have a tour today. And if you want to know more about the tour package, you can stay until the end. Yes, so after you're here, you won't see vanilla the same way ever again. <laughs> so, you know, uh, that's about it that we all have for you today. Please don't forget to subscribe, like, share and comment and to turn on the notification button to get notified on our upcoming video. We'll see you in the next episode. Bye-bye.